Good morning. We are just heading down for breakfast. It's quarter past nine in the morning here in Utrecht. Um, we are just going to grab some breakfast before we've got a meeting at 9.30 with Pete. Um, so yeah, later on we are heading to the later game of the two, which is uh, Denmark in Holland. So that should be really good. It's uh, the home country. Um, so hopefully it will uh, have a lot more supporters there. Nice and atmosphere and a lot more reporters there as well. So hopefully it will go very well. Here with Molly this morning, the day after England 6, Scotland 0. How are you feeling? Shattered. <laughs> so we've just had breakfast, had our meeting, um, so that went really well. So everyone knows what they're doing now um, for today's matches and for today's pressers. Um, so some of us, me and Frankie, have just got some work to do. Gonna edit um, today's vlog for you. I'm just going to do some editing work, i um, got to edit the stuff for some video for Manchester Evening News um, and then might go out and get some food and then later on is Holland-Denmark that should be a really good game as um, obviously Holland are the host nation the turnout should be pretty decent um, unfortunately can't wear the Holland top there um, but I, I think it'll be a really good game, I think the score will be 2-1 Holland, um, I think it will be a lot more of a closer game than any of the Zipina so far, especially with the England and Scotland game yesterday, with England beating Scotland 6-0. Um, but it's been a pretty um, exciting time so far, um, and hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video so far, and um, we'll see you shortly. So we just got here to the stadium and it's supposed to be really busy here. Um, apparently it's sold out so hopefully it'll be a really good atmosphere. Um, but yeah, like I said, um, hopefully I'll just get to show you guys around again um, and hopefully it stops raining because it's just been tipping it down. Yeah, I don't know, but I can I can tell you that she was really good and she was really important for the team tonight. So yeah, she deserved it. And do you feel like you playing so far wide in today's game could help you push and help the team push in and you know attacking players? Yeah, of course it helped us pushing, but yeah, everything is. Everything around is really important, all the people, all the supporters, everyone on the stands, the girls on the bench as well, yeah. They give us energy and I think that's really important for us. For you, what are you, look, what are you hoping to improve on for the next game? Yeah, we need to play the same as what we did the first half in the first game. Yeah, the second half it was not really good, but I think it's really hard to, yeah, to push, because they, they push us, I think that's really hard, but I think we need to do the same what we did before and then we, yeah, I think that will be a good game. Yes, well, yeah, first of all, we have six points in two games. That's all you can ask for, right? And uh, that was the main focus. Uh, we have the six points. We were really, really happy, and yeah, now we are starting. Yeah, well, 
that's that's it's, it's hard to describe because it's it's, it's such a the, the feeling is magic for sold out stadiums and uh, our, our third game against Belgium is sold out again we're playing the south of, of, of Holland so I think that's gonna be yeah very very special with both countries who will be there in the stadium to support that team finish the Denmark the Netherlands game Netherlands won 1-0 it's pretty close towards the end um, Denmark came fighting back so we've now got about an hour's drive back and then it will get back to about half 12 um, but it was a pretty good game um, incredible the amount of um, fans that showed up today the atmosphere was probably the best of any game so far for sure so it was uh, nice to just get a, a more upbeat game and then we've also got the last game which is against Belgium, their neighbours, so that'll be a very interesting game because that could get a little feisty. Interviewed Shanice van der, van der Sandem, which was really nice. Uh, Dean interviewed the captain Mandy for Reading, she's really nice. Um, so it was a really good mix zone. Kind of got turned down by Netherlands press officer at the end, he tried to interview Arsenal's goalkeeper and um, unfortunately got turned down so we're just gonna head back now okay so just got back to the hostel and pretty much gonna hit the hay straight away Molly and Frankie might already be in bed that's why I'm vlogging and I'm going upstairs today's been a really good day really good um, so hopefully I'll see you tomorrow for the next vlog